Hi guys. I'm going to start building a CNC unit for my new CNC lathe. In this video, I will explain how to write Linux image to a Raspberry Pi 4 and remote control it with Microsoft Remote Desktop. I will show you what you will be able to do. First, open Microsoft Remote Desktop on the computer you normally use. Then, you can control Linux on the Raspberry Pi 4. Some people may think it is impossible for me because I am not good at programming or setting up computers. If you watch this video, you can easily set up Linux CNC. We have several challenges to overcome when we decide to build a CNC machine. One of the biggest challenges is how to build the CNC unit. I built a 5-axis CNC machine two years ago. I needed a CNC unit that could control more than 5 axes. In addition, I wanted backlash compensation capability, so I had two choices as to which control program to use. Mach 3 or Linux CNC. Mach 3 is a paid software that runs on Windows. Linux CNC is free. I chose to use Linux CNC. The reason why I chose to use Linux Kink is that it is free and it seems to be more scalable than Mach 3. The disadvantages of Linux CNC are that it is more difficult to understand, and because it runs on Linux, you need to prepare a dedicated computer. What we need to consider when we decide to use Linux Kink is what kind of computer you will use. Since CNC needs to work in real time, it matter what kind of computer you use. When I was looking for a computer for Linux Kink in the past, I had no idea what to buy and had a hard time researching. There is a lot of information available on the internet. However, for someone like me, who does not understand programming or Linux, most of the written information is incomprehensible. And when I googled what I didn't understand, I ended up reading explanations. It gets more confusing. However, I did my best to find out it two years ago. After much research, I decided that the Raspberry Pi 4 is the most suitable computer for Linux CNC. It is relatively easy to obtain for everyone, compact, and inexpensive. We can also buy a special board for Raspberry Pi from Mesa for IO. I have been asked by many people since I posted my 5-axis CNC machine on YouTube what kind of CNC unit I use. To be honest, I myself am not very good at electrical and programming matters. I would like to build an CNC unit from scratch once again for my new CNC lathe. The first thing that will be basic is a Raspberry Pi 4 and a 7C81 from Mesa. With this, we can install Linux and can easily control stepper motors. Let's get started. First of all, please go to the Linux and page getting Linux CNC from the link in the description column. Download the Raspberry Pi a complete SD card image.
I'm currently designing something with Fusion 360 where the Raspberry Pi, Mesa board, and stepper motor drivers become one cool unit. It will be made with my 3D printer and an acrylic board. Please look forward to seeing what I can create. Once Linux can get start up and running, the initial setup screen will appear. You must set up the settings according to your location. You must set up the settings according to your location. This time, I will try remote control for my Mac. Download the application from the Apple Store.
How was it? Was this helpful? When I first decided to try Linux CNC, it was more difficult than I had imagined. At the time, I had no understanding what the information on Linux CNC on the internet meant. Even now, I still don't know enough about it, but I made this video for those who don't know any more than I do.